Hello, my name is Fernanda Zanini Bentancur. I'm a graduate student in biological sciences at Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Sul, and in this project, I was supervised by Professor Mariana Terossi. My project is called Crustaceans Inhabiting Sand Reefs of Pragmatopoma caudata, Sabelaridi, in Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil, with two new records for the state. Within the Anela de Filem, the Polycheta class is the one with the greatest diversity in adaptive complexity and can occur in all marine ecosystems from the intertidal region to ocean trenches. Among the polychaetes, the Sabelaridi family is known for its ability to form extensive sand banks formed by the excretion of mucoproteins. These banks form large colonies that shelter a diverse marine fauna, which can serve as a substrate or refuge for various organisms, in addition to having already been indicated as important structures for the fixation and larval settlement of several species of crustaceans. Polychids have a wide distribution throughout the Americas, and therefore, these formations and their associated fauna have already been studied in several locations, since the species that builds them occurs from Florida in the USA to the state of Rio Grande do Sul in Brazil. The objective of the present study was to know the crustacean fauna associated with this polychid on two beaches in the municipality of Torres, since no work had been carried out in this region until then. For this, Four field expeditions were carried out in the beaches of Prainha and Praia dos Moles during daytime periods of low tide between August 2018 and May 2019, with an interval of three months between each one. Collections were performed at 10 points for each beach, totaling 80 samples. The material from the sandbanks was removed with the help of diving knives and placed in two-liter plastic bags, which were then sealed and labeled. The samples were taken to the laboratory and frozen, being thawed individually for sorting by sieving the material. All adult individuals were identified by morphology and some juveniles were identified by molecular data. For this, two PCRs were performed with amplification of the 16S gene. When ready, the sequences obtained were compared to the sequences present in the gene bank blast. A total of 8,765 individuals were collected, of which 5,178 were in Prainha and 3,587 in Praia dos Moles. The crustaceans found belonged to 12 taxa, being 4 taxa considered abundant. Apoiali media, Pachycelis levidactylus, Amphibalanus improvisus, and Pachygrapsus transversus while three were considered of low relative abundance, the genus Jassa, Isopoda, and Caprella tenantis, and five were considered rare, Menipinodiphrons, Idothea baltica, Danieletus crinolatus, Erifia gonagra, and Megabalanus leucopoma. We can have a better view of these numbers in the graph on the side. This graph shows the distribution of seasonally related taxa. Apoiali media was found to be very well distributed, as were some of the most significant taxa. We can see a significant seasonal variation in the abundance of certain species, such as Amphibalanus improvisus, the genus Jassa, and Caprella tenantis, which can be related to the temperature differences between the collections, demonstrated above. Interestingly, the literature mentions the fact that the population density of Caprella tenantis decreases considerably in rocky substrates during the summer, and may even disappear completely. This can be seen in its distribution in the graph, which is concentrated in winter and appears a little in spring, but disappears completely in the summer. This study is the first report barnacles associated with Pragmatopoma caudata sandbanks, and is also the first record of Erifia bonagra and Menipinodiphrons in the coast of Rio Grande do Sul, previously known only from records up to the state of Santa Catarina. We demonstrate that the crustaceans found in Rio Grande do Sul are composed of a mixed fauna, including tropical and temperate species, and that the Phragmatopoma caudata sand banks constitute an important substrate for the crustacean fauna on the southern coast of Brazil, mainly for amphipods, crabs, and persilinids. I would especially like to thank my research advisor, as well as my colleagues and lab mates, for all their help and support. These were the references used in this work, and thank you very much for your attention.